day two commences on Turbo Yoda project. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's a Turbo Yoda project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were. But look, I got the time belt on. Uh, the Gates Racing one, they sent us the wrong one, so Tim called, and now we. Mm, he's, anyway, and we got this other one from the parts store. Um, the water pump's back on, and the new gaskets, and all the good stuff. Power steering's all bolted back on. The air conditioner is still hooked up down there at that thing, and the alternator belt's back on. All the brackets, AC lines, good stuff like that. All the motor mount bull crap. Harmon on and blah, 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 balance this thing on the jigger right here. I got that all tightened down. I gotta hit it with the impact, make sure it's on there good. And I uh, got that thing right there, got the valve cover right here with the new Felpro gaskets because that's all I like to use is them Felpro ones, you know, because they're the ones that works the best. Tam's over here changing spark plugs. How about them differences, Tam? Gross. That's funny. Yeah. There ain't no telling when them last last time them plugs have been changed and <laughs> they was yeah 98 and they was rusty and crusty and then I got this here distributor cap that's um, just absolutely raunchy look at that grease is caked up right there but look got a shiny new one right here it's black it's all pretty and whatnot and then we got some new plug wires and look at that old spark plug. Ooh. I mean, I've seen worse, but not much. And then the rotator button thing, and well, what you hell call it, I done put somewhere. This is a new one I put on it already. Oh. And the cool thing about these Turbo Yodas and stuff like this, you know, that gunk. Yeah. The cool thing about these Turbo Yodas is these just pop in. Yeah, you don't have to take crap off or nothing. No screws, you literally just grab it and pull it right out. And then you pop. And then you popped a new one in. There's no bolts. And then right here is the old one that was burnt all two pieces. Look at that. I mean, that is burnt. It's toasty. So, all nasty and whatnot. We got a brand new one on there now. I'm going to clean that distributor up again and, uh, these plug wires are gonna go bye bye bye. We don't need those no more. We got brand new red ones. And uh, all we're waiting on now is I'm gonna slap a teeny bit of silicone on the edge of this gasket and stick it on there. And then we'll uh, put the new. Oh, look at the old O ring off the distributator thing right there. Look at that. 42. 42. This is the actual circle gasket that goes on the end of the distributor. I mean, you gotta do it. watch, what watch, watch. It just broke into pieces. It's just gone. Anyway, that's the gasket that goes right there. That little O-ring that was pissing fluid all over the ground, making a mess when you'd park it. And I'm gonna do the oil pan, but probably not today, because you gotta drop the. Uh, these have a little bracket down there below the exhaust manifold, like part of the K-frame that's in the way. The 94. Right there does not have that same bracket, so you can drop the old pan with no problem. But because it's a geo and built by Californians, you know, in their hippie ways, they have to make things complicated. So we're doing the best we can here. But I got the got the valve cover thing on the jig all right there, all prettiness, and we're gonna throw some silicone on it. Throw some prettiness silicone stuff on it. Stick Paco, Paco, what are we doing? Anyway, then we'll throw the valve. What? And then we'll throw the valve cover on here. And uh, Paco's like, I want to help. And then um, we'll put some water in it because it's low on water from where I changed the water pump. And uh, then it should run and should do you know awesome burnouts and things like that. And turbo. Turbo Yoda. Turbo. 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 Yeah, we might turbo that turd. Make it a turd bow. It'll be a turd bow. I want to get a turd sail and turbo it. 
and have a turb turb cell turboda <laughs> turbell what if you turbo a celica a celibo a turlica <laughs> turbo celica a turlica I got me a Toyota Turlica. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We and you breaking stuff. God darn! That's JDM glove box right there. What? I don't know. Stay home Broke. Huh? Broke. Yeah. Broke. Yeah. Broke. I got you. Like always, right? Mm-hmm. I am the Honda Park thing. And this, the Turbo Yoda right here, we're going to put it back together. While Tam does the spark plug things. And Paco tries to push tools off the car. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, but it's almost back together now. Yeah. So we'll put we'll, we'll finish this crap up and throw it together and then fire it up and do awesome burnouts and things. Paco, what are you doing? Paco's like, where's VTech? I don't see VTech. Did you find VTech, Paco? I said VTech, not special ed. All right then. All right, so let's turn that radio down right there. He done topped it off with some liquor and a freeze. And uh, he's gonna put his battery terminal on there. Look at them pretty old red plug wires. Look at them pretty things. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Straight race car status up in here now. Look at that. <laughs> now as far as I can think of, we ain't forgetting. What are you doing? That's not a tan. No. What are you doing? I just want you to crank it. I don't. We'll, we'll make. There ain't no point in tightening it if it don't run. I just want you to start it up. We've really done all this stuff. I need. I got the old crap right there and all that junk and cycle the fuel pump a couple of times. Make sure everything comes on. Whenever you're ready. Oh! Shit, I do it again. One more time. Alright, hold on. Alright, figured out the whole problem. First, you have to get it started, and then you gotta redline the shit out of it. So now, I'll crank it up. I even drove it up around the road. You had to give it a little bit of throttle. Now look. Beautiful. Fans coming on. Squeaking like hell. Everything's rattling. You know it's a Toyota. Squeak, rattle, and roll, but it'll go farther than one of them damn things will go. She sounds good now. She sounds real good now. Besides that rattling. But we ain't too worried about it. It's a Toyota. Alright. Well, it runs. So we did the time belt and the water pump and all kinds of other bull crap bullshit. And now she's Gucci. Now she can be drove forever and ever. And really hard forever. That one got the service like this one did and it's all good now. So it runs. We're done.
sure. And it's done. Now we just got to get suspension for it. It's got to have suspension and then full exhaust. And then we're going to do a BER limiter in it. So you can sit there and blow flames. And be awesome. Alright. What are you doing, Jesse? I'm playing on Facebook. Okay. Right, literally right now, I'm walking away the crack. You are? No, I'm just kidding. Tim's over here doing that experiment with the crack on your windshield. And while Tim does that, the Geo is finally, or Corolla Geo Prism thing is finally getting its, its timing belt, oil pan, valve cover, water pump, and all that other good stuff that we're going to do to it. We ordered big old boxes and boxes and Paco. Paco. You ran because I knocked the cord off. But... We finally got all the parts we needed and I finally got a day off. So if I can just get this. To plug back in. There we go. And they'd let there be light. So the Geo. Did y'all see that? What? Well, anyway, so here we have a Gates Racing water pump. Lots of money was spent. Yes, yes, it, it's a real Gates Racing water pump. It's all pretty and brand new and shiny and blah, blah, blah. And right there underneath it is our brand new Gates Racing water pump gasket. All right, so then over here we have uh, those bolts for whatever those are for. Four new NGK spark plugs. Tam, where's the rest of the stuff? Okay, get it all out. And then we've got a uh, YEC distributor cap. Brand new, of course. Look at that brand new distributor cap. Heck yeah. And then, like I said, we've got four new spark plugs. So you let this sit for two hours and then you look at it and see if it works. And in this box, what's in this box? Oh. We've got a set of brand new, shiny, red, awesome, awesome uh, spark plug wires of awesomeness and these have the little hooks on the end of the hook to the distributor cap and in this big old thing right here we have the oil pan gasket correct yeah fell pro because i like fell pro fell pro all right where's the timing belt should be right what's the other gasket that's the valve cover gasket oh oh show them to get take the valve cover gasket out let me see Sit about cover gasket here. There's your little gaskets that go around the, the plugs. And look at that beautiful blue rubber Fell Pro gasket. Those are the only ones we like to use for stuff like this. And there's, and there's all the spark plug boots. What? You did you did cheap one over there with your, with your Dural last ass. And then underneath Huh? He said you're not supposed to take it out of the box until you put it And then you've got a Gates Racing Timing Belt in blue because it's a true Gates Racing Timing Belt. What? You can hold it, Tam. It's a timing belt. It's perfectly fine. Gates and it's a performance product. And because we're gonna we're gonna do all of this new stuff on it because we're gonna turbo this car. Tim doesn't want to, but it's gonna happen. We're gonna, we're gonna. I'm, no, like this one, I've got money to do it now, so it's probably gonna. Be, and you see, we're we're halfway there. And then you got your rotor button, uh, YEC rotor button. Huh? Why? No. Okay, Toyota's perfect. 
And then there's the, no, 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 no. You know how many videos of our on our is on this YouTube channel? How many of our videos consist of removing an engine, replacing an engine, or buying an engine for a Honda? Comment below. Like twenty. Exactly. How many times we rebuilt a Toyota engine? Like none. Just saying, we haven't had to. Although this this one right here is pretty much getting a full refresh, and hopefully Charlene, I'm gonna put an oil pump head gasket and stuff like that in her. Hey, ask everybody to know what a water pump gasket looks like for Toyota. I've already showed them the water pump. And then there's the rotor button, and then here's the old water pump. So let's go ahead and show you. There's a couple other goodies, I'm sure, somewhere. But anyway, this is what we've gotten off so far. Down here we have a mess of tools, brake parts, cleaner, and shit like that, and valve covers off. Got the timing belt off. Where's the timing belt? I need to see that. Where'd you put the timing belt? Timing belt. Timing belt. Timing belt. Blah, blah, blah. Timing belt. Timing belt. Timing belt. Timing belt. Timing belt. There it is. Focus. And this was the timing belt. Tim was. <clears throat> driving this car with isn't that just great the whole belt is like this beautiful 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 just destroyed junk and what else arm on a balancer came off it was a pain in the butt but we've got the brand new eleven hundred dollars snap on impact gun. Eleven hundred dollars, no lie. Oh, is it? Look it up if you don't believe us. Which one is this again? It is the Ow. snap on. I don't see the model number. It's probably underneath the fancy dust cover. But oh yeah, and it's got a light on it. You see that? Look at that. You show them the button to charge. Yeah, <laughs> that knocked that harmonic balancer right loose. Use my pulley puller right there of awesomeness. Came right off. And uh, now we're just cleaning up. Top dead center, I've already set the crank pulley. The cam, you set it to the K in the up position with the two dots. What size is it? A 10? And uh, so yeah, the Geo, the Geo of awesomeness, the Geo of awesomeness. But look, this is what blew out on it. This was the little gasket or hose that goes behind the water pump, which is right here. And hooks at the bottom of the, uh, or the back of the intake to the little <laughs> valve thing. And this is the hose that popped right there. And I thought it was the water pump. So we ordered $400 worth of parts for nothing when it was just this hose. But you know what, it, it needed it anyway. That timing belt was worn out. Water pump was probably gonna go. You're supposed to do them both at the same time. So, because you can't just go to a parts store and pick up this little hose, you can go to Toyota and spend $1,100 on this little hose, which is ridiculous. Or, you can go to your parts store and get an entire hose for like $5 to $10. And then cut it right there. That's all I need. And then you get spare hose. That's all I need right there. And it's made in Mexico, so, you know, it's probably a Buick. So, it's probably a Buick part. And... Now we're good to go, so I'm gonna cut this like right there, give me a little bit extra working room, chip it on there, and then put the water pump back on and all that other good stuff. And then we'll, uh, once Tim figures out how to get the uh, bolts loose, we'll keep going from there. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so anyway, the little Geo here is finally getting its full big service and she'll be ready to go. We can, I can do this. And we can do awesome burnouts and neutral drops and Turbo stuff and or make it go fast. Or we can drive it down the road, like Tim has hey. been missing for like a month. Or, dude, you are so pale, I can't even see your face. You are like ghost white. God, you are so <laughs> Irish. I know, I really. I can know. see Tim's face. Well, he's got a beard, and I shaved mine. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, I had a red beard, so you, orange beard, so you can see me. Uh huh. What is I'm just fucking red. Your, your pail is... I'll get out. Alright. How are we going to do this? I'll show you. There's a secret to it. But I can't tell everybody on YouTube because it's my secret. Alright. just break this on me? No, you just no. open a can of beer, Punk. Shut up.